Welcome back everybody. It's the full stack ninja. We may we're gonna make this app in this series, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It's a data visualization app. So usually for data scientists you have to write code to make your visualization library, but this makes it really easy to visualize any type of chat you want without having to write any code. Of course we wrote a code once and so now we've made a very simple application using Streamlit, Plotly, Pandas and several libraries. So let me show you how it works. You can come here, browse your files. You know, I'm going to just use a data set which I have lying around on my computer and it uploads it. Then we can see the data frame here. So if you want to make scatter plots, you know, let's say for this data set, you want to see how the price and the mileage are related. Okay, you want to color it by the transmission type. You know, let's assume you don't even want to color it, right? You can put this as none and it's not going to be colored. But you get the idea. So what we have here is we have Streamlit for making the web application. We have pandas for going through the data sets and we use Plotly for the final visualization. If this kind of application is deployed on a server, then you can open it to the public and people can create their own visualizations very easily. You know, for example, I can even come here and download the PNG file, which I already have on my computer. Okay, and this is a PNG file which was created with this application. Really neat. Let's assume we want to make, instead of a scatter plot, we want to make an histogram. You know, same thing. We can adjust the bean size. Let's say you want to make a box plot. Now, this is my favorite. So you can say price. Okay, on the x-axis, we want to see it grouped by, let's say, the transmission type. Okay, so it's going to group it, the price based on the different transmissions available. And let's say we want to color it by the field type. Okay, and that's it. Really easy to use, really simple. And this is a very useful application. So the code is going to be linked in my GitHub. And in the subsequent videos, we're going to build this application one by one together. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.